Emery and Boko. Boko, the Metropolitan Vickers Diesel, had been on the island of Sodor for a few months now, and had proven to be a very versatile engine. He worked on Edward's branch line as a goods engine, but did help out with the passenger trains on a few occasions. Boko had become friends with some of the steam engines like Edward and Duck, even Gordon after he believed Boko had saved him from Bill and Ben. But the other big engines thought otherwise. He might be a hard worker, huffed James one night, but it won't be long until he shows his true colours. What do you mean by true colours? asked Edward. I mean, he'll just be another devious diesel who thinks he's revolutionary, that's what. Don't be ridiculous, said Gordon, who was getting tired of James complaining. Boko is a fine engine. He knows how to deal with silly little engines, just like what he did with Bill and Ben. There was a quiet mumble from nearby. Henry, however, just stayed silent. He hadn't met Boko yet, but did agree with two things. One being diesel engines could be trouble, and the other being that they could be just as good as steam engines. But all the same, he wasn't sure whose point of view to believe, or to follow. Next morning, Henry was taking a goods train to the harbour. He was still thinking about the discussion the night before, but hadn't settled on a conclusion. Both Gordon and James do have good points about Boko, he thought to himself, but they can be proven wrong if the facts are true or false. I guess I'll have to find out for myself. Henry arrived at Edward Station just before Gordon's Hill, in need of a banker, but the only engine available was none other than Boko. Hello there, Boko said happily. Need some help? Henry didn't say anything at first, but stuttered a quiet, Yes, please. All right then, let's get to work, and Boko went round to buffer up to the back of the train. Henry was quite impressed. He seems eager to help. Maybe he is a nice diesel. Ready, called Boko from the back of the train. Same here, replied Henry, and away they went. Soon the two engines approached Gordon's Hill. Using everything they had, they charged up it. But as they did so, Henry thought he could hear a strange roaring sound coming from the back. But that was quickly dropped when they reached the top of the hill. Thank you, Boko, whistled Henry, and Boko honked back as the big green engine continued on towards the harbour. That evening, Boko was resting in the sheds when Henry backed in after delivering his trucks. Thank you again for helping me on the hill, Boko, Henry puffed. You're quite a strong engine. That's all right, Henry, replied Boko. I'm just happy to be working with engines like you, Henry smiled, but then he remembered something. When you were helping me, I heard a strange roaring sound coming from the back of my train. Did you hear it? Boko looked down at his buffers. That was me, he admitted. Many other members of my class have this problem, which resulted in us being withdrawn from service. The workmen tried to fix the problems, but to no success. Henry was surprised. I know how you feel, he sighed. When I was first built, I was a cross between two different engines. This resulted in me being a poor steamer with inadequate pulling power. Thankfully, the fat controllers saw potential in me and had me rebuilt into the engine I am now. Boko was amazed. It seems you and I have something in common, he said. We were both failed engines, but proved that we could be really useful. Oh, yes, indeed, replied Henry. I don't see what the other engines are complaining about. You are a nice diesel. And the two engines chatted all night long. Now Henry and Boko are good friends. They often helped each other with jobs and chatted whenever they could. Boko was especially pleased that he had gained a friendship with another one of the big engines. He did gain a number with James eventually, but that wasn't until he had a rather buzzy incident. Did you hear about the new beehive on wheels? asked Gordon one evening. I believe it was red, joked Henry. All the engines laughed a lot, while James just grunted in embarrassment.